You can help us touch lives by joining our TGIF Inner Circle. Our TGIF Inner Circle partners support the work of TGIF, Today God is First, by committing to giving $10, $20, $30 or more a month to help us underwrite the expenses of delivering TGIF, Today God is First, to 105 nations free of charge. You'll play a vital role in touching lives every day. In appreciation for your partnership, you'll receive a free monthly teaching resource from us and become a member of our private TGIF Inner Circles Partners Facebook community. You'll also receive discounts on new resources that become available. You'll be part of our TGIF Inner Circle to be informed about ministry activities. Join us today and become a TGIF Inner Circle Partner. Just visit www.tgifinnercirclepartner.com That's tgifinnercirclepartner.com I started reading TGIF just a couple of months ago, but it has been so powerful in my life that I just wanted to say thank you to Oz. I've been using the TGIF daily devotional since 2003. Uh, they've had a huge impact on my life. There's hundreds and hundreds of times that I can tell you where I've the message has hit me with something, that a pro, some problem that someone else is going through, and I can forward that email. And, time when leading groups and that becomes a devotional for the day. I love the TGIF devotion. Um, for me it is such a great companion in my quiet time um, as the, I journey through life. It is a great uh, signpost in some areas, a mile marker in other areas. It gives direction, it gives encouragement, it gives strength and um, I just want to really encourage you to sign up and enjoy TGIF every morning. I look forward to those messages. I'm, I certainly don't read one a day. I'm, I'm into May or June right now. Uh, but they're a blessing to me. I, I've shared them with others, uh, and I know they're blessed. I get phone calls often early in the morning because all my clients know I'm an early morning guy, and they're like, and, and we'll have a conversation about it in, in the early morning hours. And thank God for you, Oz, and the work that you're doing. Hi, I'm Jim Brangenberg, the host of the I Work For Him radio program right here in Tampa Bay. I have a radio program because of Oz Hillman. 2006, a buddy of mine in Atlanta forwarded me a, 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 a daily devotional and said, Hey Jim, I know you're struggling on your job, maybe you should read this daily devotional. And I read the devotional, it was TGIF, and I'm like, wow, I'm going to subscribe to that. And so I started getting uh, Oz Hillman's daily uh, TGIF uh, uh, devotional. And it started transforming me. It really was a paradigm shift for me. I never had been taught in church that my workplace could be my place of ministry. I was always taught that there was the pastor and then there was the workplace guys. And us workplace guys were just supposed to support the pastors. And so in 2008, as uh, the economy started to crash and I had had this basis of the workplace ministry because I've been getting these daily devotionals, I started sharing those with my bosses. I had four bosses at the time. And as the world got bad and my bosses started losing millions of dollars, they started being open, and open to the message of Christ. And I happened to be on a plane trip with one of my bosses and I would shared one of the devotionals from Oz Hillman. And we got in this deep conversation about her having a problem, not with God, but with Jesus. And we had this incredible conversation. And then after uh, landing our plane uh, in uh, Moline, Illinois, we headed off to a meeting we had in Iowa City and we almost died in a car wreck. And as we're on the shoulder, I looked at my boss and I said, you know, if we'd have died in that car wreck, I'd have been okay with that because I know where I'm going, but I believe we're alive today because you would have gone to hell. And, and because of the basis of sharing those daily devotionals, the TGIF devotionals, that woman came to Christ a couple of months later uh, because God had gotten her attention and used TGIF on a daily basis and it transformed the lives of my boss and another co-worker and today it's transforming the lives of, of hundreds of thousands of people across the country but I'm on the radio today because of that paradigm shift that I recognize that my workplace is my mission field. Hey guys thanks for letting me come to you on this video I hope that this year has been a good year for you I, it's been a tough year for a lot of people I, I, I can't think of another year where we've had so much dramatic change uh, with COVID and you know crime in America and uh, socialist agenda uh, right in our face you know it's a uh, it's been a tough year but but God you know that's the only thing we can look to is God's grace in our life 
and what he has planned for us. And, you know, it, it takes uh, we, the people of God, to make a stand in this nation. And uh, I hope that that's the attitude that you're going to have in this coming year. The truth is that there's only one thing that's going to change our nation, and that is changed hearts. And uh, I know that uh, you would agree with me that TGIF is one of the tools that God is using to change hearts. And uh, I really appreciate your partnership and allowing us to send TGIF to uh, people all over the world. In fact, 105 countries uh, at uh, this stage of the game. But in order to keep doing that, we need partners like yourself. So I appreciate your partnership, both in prayer and financial support. So if you have an opportunity to sow into us here at the year end, uh, that would be a really great uh, help to us. Uh, you know, it only cost us $3.33 to send one devotional uh, 365 days a year. And so that's a pretty good value. Uh, and good stewardship on our part. So, uh, but we can't do it without you. So I appreciate you considering us in your year in giving. And uh, let's see if we can't begin to shift this nation back to uh, the great nation that it is, that God is still not finished with us. And so let's look to 2022 with a year for revival and a change of heart in our country. God bless, and I hope that you have a great new year and a great 2022. Take care.